Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Doron Linder and I created this. So today I'd like to answer a question I get asked quite a lot by students. They wonder if investing time in learning Vim and mastering it while they're in uh, college or university is worth their time. I think that's a great question. And mm, the short answer is yes. The slightly longer answer is definitely yes. Uh, it will pay back huge dividends throughout their career. And but there are a few things to bear in mind. So let's get started. A new way of editing. Being a student in university or college is a time in your life when you're exposed to new stuff and things that you didn't know before, new concepts. Back in the day, Vim introduced a new concept, well, it was new back then, uh, of model editing. It's completely different from any other editors where you just type stuff in and it's there. In Vim, you can be in one of several modes and the keyboard changes completely. The, the way the keyboard behaves changes completely according to the mode you're in. Even if you don't use Vim as your main driver, you still need to understand how it works so that you'll be able to appreciate it and you'll be able to use it in the future. What better time to do this than you, when you're a student and you're learning new stuff? It's best to start early. The sooner you master Vim, the more it will help you throughout your career. You'll be able to do stuff that are really hard in other editors and you'll be able to do it in a fast and efficient manner. In addition, even after years of using Vim, people are still finding out new tricks and new ways to improve their workflow. So what better time to start than when you're a student learning new stuff? And the earlier you start, the better. Vim is an amazing editor. Vim is an awesome editor. It's powerful, it's fast, it's professional, it's customizable, just all around amazing. I made a different video on why you should use Vim, so I won't go into all the details here, but you can find the link in the description below. It's part of computing history, but also the present. VI has been around for decades. Its current implementations like Vim and NeoVim are here to stay, are in active development, and are not going anywhere anytime soon. Learning Vim, you get to appreciate its origins, where it came from, what problems it tried to solve, and what design decisions were made in order to make it the way it is. And people are using Vim throughout the, is the industry, in everyday work, all over. It's already there in the computer labs. Vim is a free open source editor and it's installed by default on any Linux machine. Linux machines are usually the kinds of machines that are being used in computer labs throughout colleges and universities because it doesn't cost anything to install them. If for any reason you're in a lab where there's a Mac, it's also based on Linux, so Vim is already installed in there as well. You'll never not end up in a, in a, sorry, you'll never end up in a computer lab where your editor isn't available. And if you connect to a remote server, it's going to be there also because it's a server and it's based on Linux. It says a lot about you and it helps you find a job. People who invest time in a tool they're going to use every day and especially a tool like Vim that's considered of having a steeper learning curve, are perceived as more serious about programming, more enthusiastic and wanting to better themselves and be as efficient as possible. Now, there are ways to make this steep learning curve go away, just like Vim Adventures here, but it does say a lot about you if you went through the motions and invested the time. Now, I heard about people going to interviews, opening Vim, and even though they didn't know a lot of the stuff that, ne that they needed, the interviewer ended up offering them the position just because he knew that once they mastered Vim, they'll probably be able to master anything else he throws, he's going to throw at them. Things to bear in mind beforehand. There are two things I strongly suggest you make sure you know before you start learning Vim as a student. The first is touch typing, or typing without looking at the keyboard and hunting for the next key to press. If you don't know how to touch type, a lot of Vim's efficiency would be wasted. 
First learn to touch type and then come back to them. The second thing is to make sure you're comfortable with the syntax and programming in general. If, for example, you just started programming and you're still confused with the syntax of a for loop, it, you don't need the editor to get in your way. Focus on being a good programmer, learn the basics and the syntax. And once you've mastered this, or you become a good sysadmin or a data scientist or whatever, Vim will be there to make it much easier, better and efficient to do whatever it is you want to do. That's it for today. To help you on your Vim learning journey, please check out vimadventures.com. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.